Hello students, welcome to my channel Hans Commerce Tutorial for the lectures on Commerce Accounts, Finance and Management. My suggestion to you, before watching the video, please go to the description below my video. You will find a link there. Take a printout of the problems given in the link and keep it ready before watching the video so that you can be able to understand the problem, the solution and the explanation to get the maximum benefit from the lectures. Thank you. Come on, now we'll start problem number 29. See the 29th problem. Baker Limited went into voluntary liquidation. The details regarding the liquidation are as follows. So 2008% preference shares of rupees 100 each fully paid. So we have 2000 into 100. 2 lakh rupees preference share capital. Then class A, 2000 equity share of 100 each 75 paid up. Class B, 1600 equity shares of 100 each 60 paid up. And class C, 1400 equity shares of rupees 100 each 50 paid up. So what you are, we are given? First, preference share capital of rupees 2 lakh. Secondly, three classes of equity shares are there. A class, B class and C class. In A class, fully called and paid up. 100 rupees ka share hai, company pure 100 rupees call curly. And B class, no sorry, sorry, sorry. Class A, 75 paid up. Class A, 75 paid up. Actually the face value of the share is 100 rupees but the company has called up 75. And the shareholders have paid 75, A class. B class, 1600 equity shares are there, 100 rupees uh, face value. 60 rupees called and paid up. So A class में 75 paid up है, B class में 60 paid up है, और C class में 1400 equity shares आ दे, 50 rupees called and paid up, 100 rupees का share है, but the company has called up 75 A class, 60 B class and 50 C class. Assets including machinery realized 4 lakh 20 thousand, तो assets realized debit side, receipt side, तो 4 lakh 20 thousand includes machinery. And liquidation expenses 15,000, credit side, payment side. Baker Limited has borrowed a loan of 50,000 from Patel Brothers against the mortgage of machinery, which realized 80,005. These assets are one asset machinery. And that machinery has mortgaged Patel. Ke paas. From Patel, where the business has taken, the company has taken a loan of 50,000. And the realizable value of that machinery was 80,500. Machine ka value 80,500 hai. Aur ye 80,500 included hai in assets realized. The assets including machinery realized 4,20,000. So what we'll do? 4,20,000 mein se machine ko alag kar de. Kyunke machine freely available nahi hai. Machine mortgaged hai. So 4,20,000 mein se 80,500 minus kar de ge. Other assets realized. Ab wo 80,500 ka jo machine beche. उसमें से लोन टू पटेल 50,000 रुपीस पे कर दिए तो रिमेनिंग 30,000 फाइंडर विद द सरप्लस फ्रॉम फुल्ली सेक्योर्ड क्रेडिट इन द बुक्स ऑफ द कंपनी सैलरीज ऑफ फोर क्लर्क्स फॉर फोर मंथ्स एट रेट ऑफ 300 पर मंथ एंड सैलरी ऑफ फोर पियोंस फॉर थ्री मंथ्स एट रेट ऑफ 150 पर मंथ आर आउटस्टैंडिंग तो अकॉर्डिंग टू प्रोविजंस ऑफ द कंपनीज एक्ट सैलरीज एंड वेजेस पेड पेएबल टू एम्प्लॉइज पेएबल टू एम्प्लॉइज और वर्कर्स are preferential up to four months in the immediately preceding 12 months before the date of winding up so here salaries are outstanding for four months of the clerks and salary of pune is outstanding for three months during the last previous year during the 12 months immediately preceding the date of winding up so all these are preferential so we'll take salary of clerk and salary of pune as a preferential credit then in addition to this, the company's books show creditors worth Rs. 87,400 apart from that unsecured creditors, 87,400. Prepare liquidity statement of receipts and payments. Very simple, very crystal clear problem. Liquidity final statement of account, assets realized. All assets excluding machinery because machinery was mortgaged, pledged. So that's why we are not going to take the machinery value. So 4,20,000 minus 80,500, 3,39,500. This is the assets realized other than machinery. 
surplus from fully secured credit are 80,500 is the realizable value of machinery out of which the amount due to Patel loan from Patel was 50,000. So a liquidator is getting a surplus of 30,500. Now after completing the problem we will come and come to this point equity shareholders class C afterwards. Up to this point you try to understand. Liquidated or remuneration is not given in the problem, just to put a dash. Liquidation expenses are given directly 15,000. Preferential creditor, salary of clerks, four clerks are there for four months and monthly salary is 300. Four clerks, four months and monthly salary 300. So if you multiply, you'll get 4,800. So 4,800 is the salary of four clerks. And salary of peons, four peons are there, three months salary is outstanding and monthly salary is 150 rupees. So total outstanding is 1800, Unse uh, preferential creditors. Unsecured creditors are 87400 directly given in the problem, right? Now, up, up to here, up to here, you have to remember, you have to understand. After working notes, we'll come to conclusion how much amount is paid to preference shareholders and how much amount is paid to equity shareholders. The company is solvent. The company is having sufficient funds to pay fully to unsecured creditor. Now in working note, we'll find out how much is the deficiency and how much shareholders should bring and how much amount to be repaid to shareholders. Now see, calculation of amount of surplus. Surplus means excess of receipts over payments. So total receipts are 339500 plus 30500 it comes to 370000 total receipts and total payments are 15000 liquidation expense 4800 preferential creditor 1800 preferential 87400 unsecured. So these four are the payment to outside parties. So total payment 19000 so surplus we are getting 261000. 261,000 is the amount remaining to be paid to shareholders, all shareholders, preference as well as equity. Suppose if there is only one class of equity share, then the whole of this amount will be repaid to the, I mean, uh, 261,000. Uh, 2 lakh rupees will be paid to preference shareholders, remaining 61,000 will be uh, repaid to the equity shareholders if there is only one class. But here the problem is complicated. Here the problem uh, we have we don't have one class of shares. We have three classes of shares: class A, class B, class C. For every class, the paid-up value of the share is different. So it is the responsibility of the liquidator to make some justification between the different categories of equity shareholders. So for that purpose, we have to calculate deficiency. So total surplus we are having two lakh sixty-one thousand. Total amount due to shareholders, preference shareholders amount due is 2 lakh, equity shareholders A class, 2000 shares are there, 75 rupees paid up. So 1 lakh 50,000 rupees are required to be paid to A shareholder, A class shareholder. B class 1600 shares, 60 rupees per share paid up given in the problem. So 96,000 rupees are the amount required to be paid to B class and 1400 shares into rupees 50. Per share paid up value 50. So 70,000 rupees is the amount to be paid back to C class equity shareholders. So total amount to be required is 5,16,000. If we want to pay full amount to preference shareholders and all equity shareholders, we require 5,16,000. Do we have 5,16,000? No. We are having only 2,71,000. So there is a deficiency, shortage. So how much total deficiency? Total deficiency 5,16,000 minus 261, 2,55,000 is the total shortage deficiency. So per share shortage how much? The so 2,55,000 divided by 5,000 shares. Number of shares are here. 2,000 plus 1,600 plus 1,400. If you add up 2, 3, 4, 5. So totally 5,000 shares are there. So they have to bear the deficiency of 2,55,000. 2,55,000 divided by 5,000. Each shareholder will have a deficiency of 51 rupees. 51 rupees. Now we have to compare this 51 rupees deficiency with the paid up value. With the paid up value per share. To find out how much amount to be returned or how much amount to be called from the shareholders. Now A class. 2000 equity shares. Rupees 75 paid up. 
तो एक क्लास इक्विटी शेयर होल्डर्स हैव पेड सेवेंटी फाइव रुपीज पर शेयर डेफिशियंसी कम्स टू ट्वेंटी वन दे हैव पेड मोर देन डेफिशियंसी सो द कंपनी विल रिटर्न बैक द कंपनी विल रिटर्न बैक टू ए क्लास शेयर होल्डर्स हाउ मच सेवेंटी फाइव माइनस फिफ्टी वन सेवेंटी फाइव माइनस फिफ्टी वन इट कम्स टू ट्वेंटी फोर तो पर शेयर ट्वेंटी फोर रुपीज द कंपनी विल रिटर्न बैक पर शेयर टू ए क्लास शेयर होल्डर्स हाउ मेनी शेयर आर देर टू थाउजेंड तो टू थाउजेंड इंटू ट्वेंटी फोर फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड तो फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड द कंपनी विल रिटर्न बैक टू ए क्लास शेयर होल्डर्स बी क्लास सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड इक्विटी शेयर आर देर ऑन ईच शेयर सिक्सटी रुपीज आर पेड सिक्सटी रुपीज आर पेड डेफिशियंसी कम्स टू फिफ्टी वन तो सिक्सटी माइनस फिफ्टी वन नाइन रुपीज द कंपनी शुड पे नाइन रुपीज पर शेयर ऑन बी क्लास शेयर द कंपनी शुड रिटर्न क्योंकि उन्हें ज्यादा पे करा उन्हें सिक्सटी रुपीज पे कर दिया डेफिशियंसी फिफ्टी वन रुपीज का हो रहा है तो नाइन रुपीज कंपनी हैज टू रीपे ऑन हाउ मेनी शेयर सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड तो सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड इंटू नाइन फोर्टीन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड रुपीज द कंपनी विल रीपे बैक टू बी क्लास शेयर होल्डर नो सी क्लास शेयर होल्डर फोर्टीन हंड्रेड इक्विटी शेयर रुपीज फिफ्टी पेड नो दिस सी क्लास शेयर होल्डर्स हैव पेड लेस अमाउंट देन डेफिशियंसी डेफिशियंसी हो रही है फिफ्टी वन रुपीज बट द शेयर होल्डर हैज पेड ओनली फिफ्टी रुपीज तो वन रुपीज शुड बी कॉल्ड फ्रॉम क्लास सी शेयर होल्डर्स क्लास सी शेयर होल्डर्स में फोर्टीन हंड्रेड शेयर है तो कंपनी विल इंस्ट्रक्ट सी क्लास शेयर होल्डर्स टू पे टू द कंपनी वन रुपी पर शेयर तो फोर्टीन हंड्रेड शेयर इन टू वन रुपी सो फोर्टीन हंड्रेड रुपीज विल बी रिकवर्ड फ्रॉम क्लास सी शेयर होल्डर्स दिस इज द टोटल वर्किंग नोट एक्सप्लेनेशन तो कौन से शेयर होल्डर के पास से आना है और कौन से शेयर होल्डर को पे करना है ऑल दीज थिंग्स So the amount has to be received from class C shareholders here, receipt side. By uh, two equity shareholders, class C, fourteen hundred shares into one rupee, fourteen hundred rupees. Class C shareholders के पास से पैसे आ गए. अब payment करना है. तो first of all payment has to be made to preference shareholders. So here we should write preference shareholders two lakh rupees fully paid. Now equity shareholders, class A and class B. Class A two thousand shares into twenty four forty eight thousand. Just now we have calculated here in working notes. Then Class B sixteen hundred shares into nine rupees fourteen thousand four hundred. This is the complete settlement of the account. Liquidators final settle uh, final statement of account is settled closed. You can take the total of receipt side three lakh seventy one thousand four hundred payment also three lakh seventy one thousand four hundred. That's all. So this is the end of problem number. Twenty nine. Now we'll start the last and final problem on this chapter: liquidation of companies. Thirtieth problem number thirty. See the last and final problem I'm doing here. The following is the balance sheet of Olympus Limited as on thirty first August ninety six. Issued capital one thousand seven percent. Preference shares of rupees hundred each. Fully paid one lakh. So one lakh rupees preference share capital. Fifteen hundred equity share of rupees hundred each. Ninety five rupees paid up one lakh forty two thousand five hundred. Debentures five percent debentures two lakh. Sundry assets, then building preliminary expenses ten thousand and P and L account thirty three five hundred. This preliminary expenses and P and L account given on the asset side are fictitious asset, imaginary asset, not at all realizable. So just you have to ignore these two assets. Now. Loan on mortgage. Some more liabilities are there. Loan on mortgage eighty thousand. Bank account twenty five thousand. Bank account means bank or draft because it is given the liability side. Liability side, so it's a bank loan. Then creditors seventy five thousand, including twenty thousand for assessed tax. Out of seventy five thousand, twenty five thousand rupees. Twenty thousand rupees are tax due. So any amount due to the government will be a preferential creditor. So twenty thousand will take preferential, and seventy five minus twenty fifty five thousand will take it as unsecured creditors. This is the balance. Sheet. The mortgage was secured on the building. So here loan on mortgage eighty thousand rupees are given. So this building was mortgaged 
for role and the dependence were secured by floating charge on sundry assets how much are the dependents 2 lakh rupees are the dependents they are having floating charge the dependent holders appointed a receiver who took charge of the sundry assets amounting to 3 lakh 15 thousand see there are two persons here one receiver one liquidator receiver was appointed by the debenture holders to get their money so sometimes what will happen at the time of issuing the debentures the company has made a provision that in case if the company is wound up the debenture holders will have the right to appoint a receiver the receiver will act on behalf of debenture holders he will take charge of the assets on which the debenture holders are having a charge the receiver will sell off that property realize the money and pay the amount to, to the debenture holders so two person receiver and liquidator so here receiver was there he has taken charge of sundry assets amounting to 3 lakh 15 thousand out of the total sundry assets 3 lakh 15 thousand face value of assets he has taken the charge who receiver a liquidator was also appointed as the company went into voluntary liquidation the receiver realized the assets for 2 lakh 95 thousand actually book value of assets was 3 lakh 15 thousand but he has sold it for 2 lakh 95,000 and his cost and remuneration were 1,500 and 2,000 respectively because receiver will also get the remuneration so receiver's remuneration is 2,000 and receiver's expenses are 1,500 90,000 was realized from building actually building was mortgaged building was mortgaged so on loan loan on mortgage was 80,000 and the building realized 145,000 building realized 90,000 sorry 90,000 was realized from building so 90,000 realization from building 80,000 is the loan to so 10,000 rupees surplus from fully secured creditor and 1,45,000 from the sale of the remaining assets Kuch sundry, some sundry assets are taken over by the receiver remaining sundry assets are sold by the liquidator the liquidator has sold the remaining assets for 1,45,000. The bank had the guarantee of the directors amounting to 22,000, which was duly honored by them. See, a bank account. Bank loan was given on the liability side 25,000. For taking that loan, the banker has taken the personal guarantee of directors. On the basis of personal guarantee of the directors, the banker has provided the loan of 25,000. The guarantee was given for 22,000 rupees. 22,000 rupees guarantee has been given by the directors to whom to banker when the company cannot be able to repay the loan to the bank the bank will recover the amount from the directors so directors have paid 22,000 rupees to the bank now still 3,000 rupees are payable to the bank the company has to pay 3,000 rupees to the bank and 22,000 rupees the company has to pay to the directors because directors have given the guarantee and the directors have from their pocket they have paid the amount to the bank now company has to pay 3000 rupees to the bank 22000 rupees to the directors the directors uh, now the cost of liquidation was 3000 and liquidated or remuneration was 1250 prepare the liquid prepare the accounts of the receiver and the liquidator so in this problem we are required to make two statements first statement receiver's statement Liqu uh, receiver's final statement and then we have to make liquidator's final statement of account first of all we'll see how the receiver will collect the money and make the payment to debenture holders first of all receiver's statement of account receipt side to assets realized 2,95,000 it is given in the problem he has taken charge of sundry assets of 3,15,000 sundry assets ka jo book value hai 3 lakh 15000 uska charge le liya aur usko becha kitne mein 2 lakh 95000 right now by receiver's remuneration 2000 directly given in the problem and receiver's expenses are 1500 directly given now from this amount the receiver will pay the amount to debenture holders how much are the debenture holders 2 lakh so 2 lakh 95000 minus 2000 minus 1500 minus 2 lakh remaining surplus the receiver has to hand over to the liquidator so by surplus balancing figure 91,500 transferred to liquidator the job of receiver is over he has sold the property and he has paid the amount to the debenture holders and the remaining balance amount he has to surrender to the liquidator
the one statement completed. Now we'll come to the liquidated hours final statement of account. Two assets realized 1,45,000. It is given in the problem. The remaining assets are sold by the liquidated hour for 1,45,000. Surplus received from receiver 91,500. Here you can see. The surplus from receiver 91,500 received. Surplus from fully secured credit are building 90,000, loan on mortgage 80,000, 10,000 surplus. The loan was 80,000 and for taking that loan, mortgaged building and the building realized 90,000, 10,000 rupees surplus. The total receipts in the hands of liquidated are 246,500. From this, he has to make the payment to creditors. First of all, liquidated as remuneration 1,250. No need to calculate directly amount is given in the problem. The liquidation expenses 3000 given. Preferential creditors amount due to government taxes. The 20,000 is preferential. Unsecured creditor. Unsecured creditor may 22,000 rupees the company has to make the payment to directors because directors have paid the amount to the bank. When loan is taken from bank, directors have given personal guarantee. So 22,000 rupees. Bank loan 3000. Total loan amount from bank 25,000. Out of 25,000, banker has collected 22,000 from directors. The remaining 3,000, the company has to make the payment to bank. Then other creditors are 55,000. 75,000 rupees are the creditors given in the balance sheet. Out of 75,000, 20,000 are preferential. So 75,000 minus 20,000, 55,000 rupees are the other creditors. So total unsecured creditors are 80,000. Next, after making the payment full to unsecured creditor, the balance remaining goes to shareholders. First, the amount will be paid to preference shareholders 1 lakh. Now, the remaining balance 42,250. So, 246,500 minus 1250 minus 30,000 minus 3,000 minus 20,000 minus 80,000 minus 1 lakh. You will get balancing figure 42,250. This will be paid to equity shareholders. Now see here, we are not calculating any deficiency, all these things. Why? Previous problem we were calculated. Why? Because we have only one class of shares. If we have different classes of shares, then deficiency will be calculated in order to find out from which uh, shareholders amount has to be called up and to which shareholder amount has, amount has to be paid. Right? Here only one class of equity shares, so all the remaining amount will be given to the equity shareholders. That's all balancing figure. 42,000. We have completed all the problems, 30 problems, long problems we have done. Apart from that, some 12 problems, short problems we have done on company liquidation. So hope if you are watching the videos, if you want the complete command on this chapter liquidation of companies, watch the all the videos. First of all, theory, be thorough on the concepts of liquidation. Then first problems video I have given for uh, short problems, 12 short problems. Mostly the calculations regarding liquidated as remuneration. This will be asked in four marks or two marks short questions in examination. Next, long problems. Starting eight long problems we have done on preparing statement of affairs. Statement of affairs which is prepared by the company and submitted to the liquidator. On the basis of statement of affairs, the liquidator will start his job. Right? Then remaining all problems from ninth problem to thirtieth problem we have done on liquidated as final statement of account so many different issues we have seen so if you want the complete comment watch the video one not once but twice then only you can be able to get the comment and always i told you to make a print out of the problems from the link hope you have enjoyed the subject inshallah in the next uh, video we'll start the new topic called amalgamation of companies till then goodbye take care